Hello everyone, and welcome to the lecture, How to Approach This Course. This lecture will go over the basics of how to get the most out of this course. Now, people who are taking this course hopefully fall within three categories. Beginners who have never programmed before, programmers coming in from another language, or intermediate Python programmers. Now I'm going to discuss how you should approach this course depending on what category you're in. First, beginners who have never programmed. Complete beginners should read the notebooks before watching the screencasts. Then, watch the screencasts and follow along. Then, you should take the quiz or test or corresponding homework assignments to check for your understanding. Afterwards, make sure to review the written notebook to make sure you fully understood the lecture's material. Now, if you're a programmer coming in from another language, you should read the lecture notebooks and follow along. Then, if something isn't clear, go ahead and watch the screencast. Afterwards, you should take the quiz, test, or corresponding homework assignment and make sure you can check your understanding, either through the screencast or through the notebook. Finally, for intermediate Python programmers, you should read the notebook and make sure you know the topic. If you're an intermediate Python programmer, you can probably skip the first few sections of the course where we discuss Python basics. Once you're at the advanced topics, I would recommend you read the notebooks and watch the screencasts to get the most out of this course, and do the corresponding either test, quiz, or homework assignment for that section of the course. Now, discussion questions. If after watching the screencast or checking the notebook something doesn't make sense, feel free to start a discussion in the forums. Remember to check if there is an FAQ frequently asked questions lecture corresponding with the lecture. As this course gets populated with more students, more FAQ lectures will begin to pop up throughout the course. Also, remember to use the search feature in the discussion section for faster results. All right, that's it for this section of the course. Up next, we'll learn how to install Python on our computers and go over the basic course environment. Thank you, and I will see you at the next lecture.